Shalom to my brothers and sisters in the body of Yahushua HaMashiach. Today's word is Yahuwah's calendar. Yahuwah's calendar. You see, my people, Yahuwah's thoughts is not our thoughts. And Yahuwah's ways are not our ways. And you're probably asking me, what do you mean, Sister Yidia? You see, my people, when I began to study about the calendar we follow today, Yahuwah has revealed to me that it does not line up to his calendar. So I will open up this word with Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. And Yahuwah said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and to let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. So again, you can see the lights that he had created that are in the firmament of the heaven would be for what? Signs, for seasons, for days and years. You see, my people, if we, are, if we go out into the wilderness and lose track of time, the Most High has set it up that all we have to do is observe the heavens and we would know what seasons we are in, what is the day, and they would give us when the year begins and when the year ends. So, I was inspired to do a study about the calendar we follow today. That calendar today that we follow is called the Gregorian calendar. You see, my people, the words say what? Prove all things and study to show thyself approved. So I went into their history books, my people. And the history book I went into was the Encyclopedia Botanica. Because I wanted to understand how did we get the format we got today for the year, for the month, for the week and for the day. So when I read about how the week was set up, that was what truly inspired me to do a study on the calendar. I will read to you what I found, what they said about the week. If then the first hour of a day was consecrated to Saturn, or the first hour of the second day would, would belong to the sun, in like manner, the first hour of the third day would fall to the moon, the first of the fourth day to Mars, and of the fifth to Mercury, and of the sixth to Jupiter, and of the fourth to Venus, the cycle began completed. The first hour of the eighth day would return to Saturn, and all the other succeed in the same order. According to Dio Cassius, the Egyptian, we commiss with Saturday. On their flight from Egypt, the Jews, from hatred to their ancient oppressors, made Saturday the last day of the week. Now, to... Um, Summarize what this passage was telling us. It was telling us that the original format of the week was Saturday being the first day, Sunday the second day, Wednesday, I mean Tuesday the third day, until we get to Friday being the seventh day. Now you can see here I put in brackets the lie because this is what our brother Esau do. To justify to the world on why they follow that week format. But I know what you're saying. But Sister Yidia, 
The first day of the week now is Sunday. And Saturday is the seventh day of the week. But if we know about history, you should also know about Constantine. Constantine made a lot of changes to the great golden calendar format. For he worshipped the sun. So he made Sunday the first day of the week. And put Saturday back to the seventh day of the week. So when I saw this in the history record and what they have done, I said, now I know that the calendar we follow today is false, it is of man, and it's not wholly divine. So my people, I will be doing a series of videos going into the Word to show you Yahuwah's calendar and to give you his word on what we should follow. So you see my people, we're going back to the beginning of the book, also to the New Testament as well. For there was what's the word to put it as? The most high have a way of leaving great clues behind to let you know what was his true and holy calendar. And the greatest clue that he left us was in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. So again, my people, if you were stuck out in the wilderness today and you lost track of time, how will you know when the day began and end? How will you know when the week began and end? How will you know when the month began and end? How will you know when the year began and end? And how will you know when the seasons began and end? I will leave, I will end this video at that question for you to meditate on. And click on the little icon that has an eye for the next video. For we're going to study what the Most High says. What is his calendar? Shalom.